You talk about how, you know, U.S. is trying to win the great power war. And oh, yes. um, you kind of talk about how, you know, they can either preserve the real value of the U.S. Treasury market or they can win the great power competition with China, but they can't do both. But now you're saying there's a possibility that the U.S. loses both the great power competition and fails to preserve the real value of the U.S. Treasury market. And so if you're an American and you're hearing that, it's kind of alarming. So why don't you dig into that? Yeah, it's that has been a uh, and thank you for the, the reminder. That I, had, <laughs> I, I do remember saying that I know I've written it uh, for our clients. I had just forgotten. I, I knew there was a second thing um, that had really grabbed me. And that is that there have been a number of things I have seen and read over uh, the last couple of months in particular that are, is pointing to a greater possibility that the U.S. both loses the great power competition and uh, has to give up the on the real value, maintaining the real value of the Treasury market. So let me take a step back and kind of define those terms. This goes back three or four years ago. Um, I kind of laid out, look, the, 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 the U.S. can win the great power competition uh, as it was, uh, I think, first named in a, in, a, in a Pentagon paper in early 2018 uh, with China if it is willing to essentially implement industrial policy effectively monetized by the Fed um, and basically deal with the inflationary consequences, basically keep real interest rates significantly negative for a sustained period of time so that bonds lose a lot of money on a real basis relative to inflation, but then you basically use those deficits to reshore the U.S. industrial base. Um, America has advantages in terms of uh, free flows of capital and uh, uh, economic freedom, personal freedom. So there are advantages to leverage in the great power competition if we are willing to sacrifice the real value of the treasury market. And this has long been my view. Uh, it still is, but if I it is there is at least a fat tail risk now based on how things have developed that we both lose the great power competition and lose the real value of the treasury market and that is in response to things like the boeing problems right boeing mm -hmm. is a perfect metaphor for the problems of us dollar dutch disease which is we are the saudi arabia of dollars we can weaponize the dollar. Uh, our biggest exports from 2002 through 14 by far uh, were U.S. Treasury bonds. And it wasn't even close. It was more than 2x the next biggest line item uh, in, in a variety of manufacturing. Um, and so what you are then incented to do is what Boeing did, which is why invest in engineering? Why, why pay union wages to extreme, you know, to, to your, um, you know, to, to your, to your uh, uh, machinist union out in Seattle, close the facilities in Seattle, move them to non-union states uh, and don't reinvest in engineering, reinvest in share buybacks, borrow money, buy back stock. And in the short one, you're rewarded for that. Boeing was a great performing stock. But eventually the long run catches up to you and we're seeing what we're seeing are symptoms of that. And I think Boeing is just a metaphor uh, for the broader financialization of the U.S. economy over the last 30 years. Uh, and in particular, since China was was put into the WTO. So now, whether it's that, whether it's our inability to supply enough weapons uh, to the Ukrainians. Uh, look, if we if we could make the ammo, they'd be getting it. We can't make the ammo. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a, there's a, even, even uh, from a personal anecdote standpoint, we sent out uh, corporate gifts. A lot of people read our Friday piece on Saturday morning with a cup of coffee. So we said, you know, let's get, let's get an FFTT branded coffee mug for clients and send it out as a gift. So we contract with a corporate gift uh, uh, company that's been doing it for 30, 35 years. They have relationships and sourcing all over the country, all over the world. Uh, and we say, just for giggles, I want a metal coffee cup with an FFTT logo and I want 0% Chinese content. Go. And for weeks, they searched 
for a company <laughs> located in America that could make this isn't you know this isn't rocket science. This is a <laughs> friggin' crazy. metal coffee cup. Such a company didn't exist in America. Wow. So the best they could do was seventy percent American content, thirty percent Chinese content, which is fine. It's fine unless you are going to pick a fight and try to win the great power competition. Like if, if you, and so that's why I say all of a sudden, I think we can, we can lose both. And then, you know, we've seen other things. Um, Josh Wolf uh, in testimony to Congress last fall said the Chinese are building nuclear power plants four to five times cheaper than the Americans, $2 billion a gigawatt in China, $12 billion a gigawatt in America. And they're leveraging that with trading partners all around the world. Hey, you're short water, Mr. African nation. You're located next to an ocean. We can set up desalination and give you cheap nuclear power, and we will supply all of the components and the facility. And all you got to do is switch your trading into yuan. And 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 surprise, surprise, if you're a leader in a poor country, free fresh water starts to sound really good um, to lots of parts of the world, etc. So, and critically. A gigawatt's a gigawatt. This, the, the, the gigawatt of electricity in America is the same gigawatt in China. So if they can produce a gigawatt of electricity four to five times cheaper, they're going to win. Like the guy with the cheapest energy wins. And it also, another way of looking at it is that the dollar is up to 85% overvalued relative to the yuan on an electrical electricity base. A gigawatt is just a gigawatt. Take away all of their frictions. And if a gigawatt costs 12 billion in America and 2 billion in China, the dollar is six times overvalued, 85%, 86%, 80, 83%. Uh, if that was a one-off, it would be bad enough. But in recent weeks and months, we've seen the Amer America uh, four to five times more expensive in electrical vehicles, uh, four to five times more expensive in semiconductor facilities. The South Koreans came out recently, LG, SK, Samsung, suspending production of facilities or building of facilities in Arizona, which is a U.S. right to work state where labor is arguably as cheap as it's going to be anywhere in the country. And they said between the labor situation, part of which is DEI because there's federal money involved, but broader, they the, it was costing them four to five times more to build a facility in Arizona than in Asia. You can't win. I mean, if you are five to, four to five times more expensive in commodities like electricity, electrical vehicles, semiconductor uh, parts, you're done, like you lose. That's capitalism 101. Yeah. So when I start looking at that and then I look at sort of, okay, how do you have to fix that? The release valve is gonna have to be the dollar. So if we, when I say we lose, it doesn't mean we lose forever, but it means we lose this round. And it means that the dollar is gonna have to be massively devalued one way or another. And we're gonna have to go through a bumpy period of high rates of inflation and a reshoring, reindustrialization, reorganization. And if we can sort of hold the politics of this country together while we do that, we'll be fine. And if we can't, then you know we'll figure out what to do from there. But that's that's the long-winded monologue and sort of the things, some of the things I've been seeing that have really changed my thinking, which had been it, it's reduced my optimism regarding our ability to either or win win the great power competition or maintain the real value it 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 very well could be we both lose we, we lose the real value of the treasury market and we lose the re and we, and we lose the great power competition at least this round of it